Hi everyone, Claire here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a full body intermediate Pilates class. There is no equipment needed at all. All you need of course is a mat, grab yourselves and let's get into this workout. So today we're going to find ourselves starting in a child pose. Our toes to touch, knees nice and wide and reaching those arms nice and long. Just a few breaths here. Inhale through the nose and an exhale through the mouth. Just arriving in the room and really getting ready for this workout. Crawling the hands to one side of the mat and reaching long and away. Scooching over to the other side and reaching long away. Coming back into the middle, reaching long one more time. And coming up onto all fours into a quadruped position. Let's do some cat cows here. Inhale, belly button drops down, gazing to the sky. Exhale, press the floor away. Inhale, belly drops. Exhale, press. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press. One more here. Inhale. And exhale. Finding that neutral spine, we're going to go into some spinal twists here. Opening up the right arm. Inhale, gaze into the hand. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, open. Exhale, down. One more here. Inhale. And exhale, back to center and switching sides, opening up, inhale, exhale, twist, inhale, open, exhale, one more here, inhale, exhale, and back to center back into that quadruped position. From here, tuck your toes and knees are gonna hover just off the crown, pulling the belly button into the spine, nothing else changes. And tapping back down, pressing up and away. And down, little lift. And lower. Last one here, hold, hold. And press those heels down, hips go to the sky, downward dog position. From here, just a little pedal through the calves, one heel down at a time. Good, you've got four, three, two, and one. From here, step your feet about as wide as the mat. What we're gonna do is bend your hips down. Press your body forwards into a plank. Hips go high to the sky, downward dog. Repeat that. We go bent. Press forwards. Hips high. Belly button tight. Bend. Press forwards. Hips high. One more here. Bend. Press. And up. From here we're gonna reverse it. So you come forwards. Bend. Hips to the sky. That's one forwards, bend, and up, two, up, bend, last one here, press, bend, and there, from here we're going to go for a bend and a press forwards, bend, and press, good, four more there, Arms are heating up, four, three, two. This time we bring one knee to chest, bend, knee to chest, other side, bend, knee. Good, let's go for four, three, two, one, stay there, let's march it out, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Send your knees wide, back into a child pose. 
From here, let's go for a little ripple out through the spine. Coming into a slow push up all the way down to the ground. Hug elbows into your body, lift, lower. As one unit, press back, reverse that push up, back to child pose. Again, so we ripple up, elbows hug, slowly down, press away, lower, and press back. Good, two more like that, ripple, don't let those hips sag down, control down. Hug elbows in, lift, lower, pressing back, last one here, ripple, and slowly lower down, hug the elbows, and staying down here, from here what we're going to do, squeeze your elbows into your body, lift up, and then lower back down, squeeze, tummy tight, you want to try and lift your belly off the ground. Squeeze, lift, and lower. Squeeze, lift, and lower. Four to go here, squeeze, lift, lower. Three to go, three, lift, lower. Two more here, squeeze, little lift, and lower. Last one here, squeeze. This time, little pulses here for eight, seven, six, five, elbows are tight to your body, four, three, two, and one. Coming down, place your hands in front of you. We're gonna work our lower body here. So just resting your head on the backs of your hands. We're gonna lift one leg off the ground, nice and straight and long, and lower other leg, lift, and lower. Now, as we're in this position, we're focusing on pulling our belly button away from the ground. Squeeze your booty to help lift that leg off the floor. And we're thinking about our legs shooting through the wall behind us. Four to go here, four, three, two, and one. From here, lifting one leg, two pulses. Lower down, other side. And lower. Two pulses, and lower. Good, let's go for four. Three. Almost there, two. Last one. From here, upper body and lower body lifts off the ground. Lift and lower. Now, if this is too much, just alternating between legs and upper body. Good, let's go for four, three, two. Now, holding it up here, kick the legs. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Place your hands back beside your chest. Push yourself back up and back into that child pose. Find yourself back up onto all fours. One more thing here. We're gonna go for a push up, but this time we're going for a chest press rather than triceps. So fingertips are slightly turning inwards and hands are a little bit wider. Elbows go wide, inhale as you go down, exhale as you press away. Now, shoulders are staying in line with your hands. If you want more of a challenge, what you wanna do is send your hands forward, body comes forward, and L shoulders, again, stay over your hands. Good, let's go three more here. Three. Inhale. Two. And one. Send your hips back. Little rest here. Up onto all fours, tuck your toes. Hips go high to the sky, downward dog position. And walk those feet slowly to your hands. Resting here just for a little second. Shake your head no. 
Nod your head, yes. Bend those knees, rolling up through the spine, one vertebra at a time. Hands come overhead, inhale. And exhale. Release that. Now we're gonna go into some lunges now. So at the top of your mat, let's start with our left leg stepping behind us. So we wanna be wide enough so that we can have a 90, 90 degree angle. Inhale, you're gonna come down, knee in line with ankle, and then press back up. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you press. Inhale, exhale, good, knee drives down to the ground. Let's go for four, three, two, last one. Let's go to the bottom, little pulses down there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From here we go combo. So we're gonna go two pulses this way, two to open to the front. Good, again, two pulses and front. Good, keep that going. Your thighs should absolutely be heating up here. Good, we've got four to go. Four. Open. If you want arms. Open. Good. Two to go. Open. Last one here. And open. From here we're gonna stand up and sit. Stand up and sit, really squeezing that booty at the top. Good, for four, three, two, and one. Coming down to the bottom, little pulses here. <sighs> oh my goodness. Really squeezing that booty there. Eight to go, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a deep breath to the top toes, point forward. Exhale, forward fold here. Little rest, stretch here. Reaching across to one leg and stretching away. Scooching over to the other side, stretching, stretching, stretching. Back to center here, going for a little bend and stretch of the legs. Good, four to go here for four, three, two, and one. Rolling up through the spine, one vertebra at a time, hands come overhead, inhale. Exhale, give it a little shake, and let's turn to the other side. That whole combo is gonna happen with the other leg. So left leg's in front now, right leg's behind. Hands can come on hips once more. Inhale as you go down, exhale as you press up. Inhale, exhale. Chest is prepped. Four to go here, you've got four, three, two, and one. Down the bottom, we've got it, pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Combo, two pulses, two to open. Back again, pulse, and open. That's two, almost there. Open, pulse, and half way, pulsing, and we're burning. My goodness, pulse, and open, two to go here. Pulse, open. 
Last one, pulse and open. Let's go for our squats. Squeeze and lift. Down, left knees are tracking over those toes. Squeeze that tush for four, three, two, one. Down the bottom, pulse it out to finish. Down, two, three, four. Don't come all the way up. Eight to go, four, eight, seven, six. Tummy tight for four, three, two, one, breath to the top, falling forwards, rolling up through the spine, big shoulder roll back, give it a shake, and coming to the backs of your mats one more time, rolling down through the spine one vertebra at a time, crawling out into a plank position, knees go wide, back and let's just have a little breath here child pose rolling up through the spine big shoulder roll back swooping those legs in front and scooching yourself to the top of your mat we are up to some core work now so we're up to my favorite exercise which is a c curve options with your c curve Hands can be underneath your thighs for a little bit of a support. Otherwise, reaching those arms long. Remember, beautiful posture at the top each time. Inhale here. Exhale, curving through the lower back, creating that C. And lift back up. Inhale. Exhale, curve. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Let's keep that going. Exhale. Lift. Down. Lift. Four to go here. Exhale. Inhale. Lift. Exhale. Lift. Two to go here. Two. Lift. Last one here. Lift from here, we're gonna go back eight pulses for eight, seven, belly button pulls in, pull for four, three, two, arms reach up overhead, repeat down, eight, seven, six, exhale, four, three, two, two more rounds, lift up. Seven, keep that going. Six, five, four, three, two, one more here. Lift and lower. Eight, seven, six, almost done. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. Four to go for four, three, two, last one here. Beautiful, send your knees wide, little stretch forward here. Whew. Rolling up through the spine, bring those knees back together. And this time we're gonna send our legs nice and long in front of us. We're gonna go for a full roll ups here. So reaching those arms long here, inhale nice and tall with the spine. Exhale, we're gonna roll down one vertebra at a time, nice and slow. Hands come overhead, inhale. And exhale. Gazing forward, reaching up one vertebra at a time and reaching over towards those legs, rolling back up. Inhale, exhale. Rolling all the way down, one vertebra at a time. Arms overhead, inhale, hands to shoulder height. Exhale, tuck the chin, reaching forwards. And over. Rolling back down. One vertebra at a time. 
this time we're gonna lift one leg up. Inhale. Exhale, lifting one leg up. Lift. And then rolling back down. Other side, lifting up. Lift. And back down we go. Up and over. Lift. Down. Good, up and over, lift. Down, we're gonna add a little twist here. So lifting up, twist, one, two, three, last one, four, back to center, lower down. Other side, exhale, lift, twist, one, two, three, four. Lower back down. One more each side. Inhale. Exhale. Lift. One, two, three, four. Back to center. Roll down. Last one here. Inhale. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Reaching long. Back down. Arms and legs reaching long and away. Hands come beside you and feet are gonna plant onto the ground. Lift your booty off the ground for a hot second and give it a little shake to release any tension in that back. Place it back down. Whew. Now from here, let's bring our legs up into a tabletop position. Before we do that, think about planting and grounding your lower back into the ground. So we're creating that very flat back or imprint of the spine to the ground. If you're feeling really strong and you're comfortable with being able to hold a neutral spine, please do so. But doing this just helps to protect that lower back a little bit more. Lifting your legs up into a tabletop position. Tabletop, your feet, your knees are in line with your hips and your feet are parallel to the ground. From here, inhale, tap. Exhale, back to center. Now, if it's too much like that, your legs can be a little bit more extended to the sky. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Remember, lower back stays on the ground the whole time. Good, four to go like this for a four, three, Two, last one here. We're gonna extend one leg. There, back to center. Good, four to go here for four, three, two. Last one here. And bring those knees into your chest. Let it rock from side to side. Last little bit here, we're gonna do alternating, alternating knees with the straight legs. So almost like a scissor, but with bent legs. So one knee comes to chest, other leg extends, and then we switch and switch if you want. Head comes off the ground, shoulders come off the ground. Extra spicy, release those arms. Go four, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Back into center. Oh, find a release there. Plant those feet on the ground. Swivel the butt to the back of your mat and turn to face the front. We're gonna go into a side lying series now. Woohoo! We are close to the end. Remembering knees are stacked on top of each other. Hips are also stacked on top of each other. My upper body tries to stay as still as possible. Hand comes plants on the ground in front of you. You can also lie completely flat if that's more comfortable. From here, go for clams. Open and close. Open and close. Remembering we don't swing back to the hip behind us. We want to try and just make the rotation ha happen through the hip whilst the hips stay stacked on top of each other. Did that make sense? I hope it did. <laughs> Let's go for four, 
three, two, and one. Keep it open, little pulses here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From here, we're lifting the whole leg up and down. Lift and lower. Again, knees are staying pointing straight forwards. Go for four, three, two, and one. Let's keep it lifted, pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From here we stretch and bend the leg. Stretch and bend. Good, let's go for four, three, two, and one. From here, keep that leg lifted, pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rainbow taps. We tap them forwards and behind. Forward, behind, forward and back. Good, four to go, upper body stays nice and still. Three, two, and one. Now from here, bend that top leg either behind you, but extending that front leg, or you can have this leg in front and on the ground. From here, what's gonna happen is you're gonna lift your under leg and tap it down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Good, you've got four, so that leg can be here if you need. Three, two, and one. Keep it lifted here, pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Plant that leg on the ground, hand comes in front of you. So if that leg's behind you, bring it in front. Just a few lifts here, we lift and lower, lift, and lower. Whew. Four to go here. For four, three, two, last one here. One. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Release that booty. Swing those legs around to the other side. We just have to repeat all of that, but on the other side. Let's get it done. So, finding yourself back into this side lying position. Hand can come in front of you on the ground. Knees are stacked and hips are stacked on top of each other. Going with your clams to start. Squeeze and close. Something that helps me here is I push my foot and heel into each other just to help have a little bit of tension there or something to push against. Good, let's go for four, three, two, and one. From here, keep it open, pulse it back. Two, three, four, it's a tiny movement. Seven, eight, close it, we lift the whole leg and lower, lift, and lower. Good, for four, three, two, one. From here, keep it lifted, pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From here, we stretch and bend, stretch and bend. Stretch and bend. Four to go here for four. Three, two, one. Keep the legs stretched. Pulse it up for eight, seven, six. Hips are still pointing forwards and stacked on each other. Three, two, one. Rainbow tap forwards and back. Forwards and back. Four to go here, you've got four, three, ooh, two. 
Last one. Beautiful, extend that underneath leg. Our leg can be directly behind you or it can be in front. We go for a lift and lower and lower. Try to keep that leg nice and straight. Four to go there, four, three, two, one. Let's lift it up, pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let that leg lower down. Bring that leg in front to this position. We lift it up and tap. Lift and lower. And lower. Good, four to go here for four. Oh, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. Oh, find yourself into a child pose. Just releasing back here. Guys, we have made it to a stretch and cool down. Yay. Coming up onto all fours, let's cat cow the spine, inhale, belly drops down. Exhale, press the floor away. Inhale, belly drops. Exhale, press. Inhale. Exhale. And finding that neutral spine, tuck your toes, hips go to the sky, downward dog position and pedaling through those calves, one heel down at a time. And let's step our right leg forward, but let the knee drop down to the ground, coming into this pigeon pose and let those elbows come to the ground, relaxing down. Just a few breaths here. And coming up into a straight position here, turning to face the front, but bend that leg behind you. This time for a lazy hip flexor stretch. Elbows can come down to the ground, pressing that hip up towards the sky, squeezing that butt cheek underneath. Coming back up, let's step that back leg over the top now, wrapping for a spinal twist here. Chest is proud, hips driving down towards the ground and twisting towards that leg. Send this leg so it goes straight out to the side now. This leg's still bent, this time reaching those arms forward. So you should feel a nice stretch through the inner thigh there. Make sure both hips are pressing down to the ground. And rolling up, let's stretch that to the other side. So left knee's bent now, right leg comes behind, coming over the top. And when you're ready, coming down into this position. Just relaxing in this position. Few breaths here, inhale. And exhale. And coming up, bending that back leg behind you into that lazy hip flexor stretch. Elbows coming behind, just relaxing here. Just wherever feels comfortable for you, squeezing that underneath booty up to the sky for more of a stretch through the front of the hip. Yeah, coming up, that back leg is now going to step over the top for our spinal twist, wrapping the opposite arm around, pressing both hips down to the ground, twisting towards that leg. And let's release that stretch, that leg out to the side now, and reaching forward and long, feeling a stretch in the inner thigh, both hips pressing onto the ground.
and rolling out through the spine come into a comfortable seated position let's go for a side stretch here pressing both hips into the ground and cartwheeling to the other side back to center big breath to the top inhale join the hands into heart center exhale And you are all done. Thank you so much for joining me this week for this week's Intermediate Full Body Pilates class. I hope you enjoyed that one. That was a bit of a sweaty one. It is very hot and muggy here in Australia. If you liked that video, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with a friend or family member that you think would like this workout as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as of course I post new workouts every week. Thanks again for coming and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.